Well, it comes primarily, obviously, it comes from my own experience of of uh, being young in Northern Ireland and driving around in cars. I mean, I don't want to say that the film is entirely an autobiographical piece because it's, because it's not. It draws a lot of inspiration from from American cinema. I mean, particularly as you know, there's uh, there's certain definite references to certain particular films in this. To anyone who's who's seen the film, I don't think it'd be very much of a surprise to say that American Graffiti, that uh, Lucas's American Graffiti, is one of the crucial texts that I've used in making this piece. There are naturalistic devices being used. You're aware, for instance, in the scene in, uh, in San Rafael where um, there's the young couple is in the car, I think you remember, uh, the, there's you know, this being shot on location at night. When I came to look at that scene again and so, you know, use it as one of the inspirations for Roundabout, it was truly, it was partly financial considerations that, uh, that made us want to choose a back projection as a way of, of reinterpreting that scene. What I then became interested in was using the earlier techniques, the studio bound techniques, if you like, to throw into relief the naturalistic acting that, uh, that I was also interested in. You know, so in a way it dislocates the idea of, of realism as far as the viewer is concerned. It brings them more aware of the fact that they're they're watching a movie and they're using and we're using cinematic techniques in the idea of creating that piece of work. Honey, come back! I just can't stand each lonely day. The little. When Philip first approached me about participating in the project, he pitched it very much as a, as a response to the Hollywood trend which had gone on for quite some time of remaking examples of British and European cinema specifically for a uh, home market. He seemed particularly keen, if I recall from conversation, to draw parallels between Certain examples of small town American cinema which had evolved from the new Hollywood of the late 1960s and early 1970s. Um, to draw parallels between that and his own experiences uh, growing up in a small rural town in Northern Ireland. I mean, going back to my own experiences of the, of um, when I was growing up, the car as well was is is instrumental sociologically. It has this thing where your position in society is defined in some ways by um, by the car that you drive, or even if you have a car. I mean, I know when when we were kids, that the idea is that the, the police were the guys who had the cars; they had the authority. And later on, we wanted to you know in some ways mimic that sort of authority that. Uh, that the police or the older guys or whatever would have through the use of their cars. I think there's a scene in uh, in Roundabout where um, the the police are in the car. And there's the kids might or might not be us um, who are being told where or not to buy their weed from in the. Uh, but the police are the guys in the car.
quarter of an inch. An inch. Top. Did you know the peelers are sitting outside there on the motor? I've been there all week. Oh, but whenever we come up the night, they told us to go away down to the rainies and not be coming up in here. Fuckers. It's there are other elements, of course, and I've you know I've said that, that I've used my own life. I always think the uh, as well uh, Bogdanovich's last picture show. There's some ways in which that refers to my own life and the way that I've created this piece. So I think that small town American cinema generally has had um, certainly an effect on the way that I grew up and the way that I approached this, but it has an effect on the way that people there themselves live their own lives. They see themselves through the filter of small town American cinema. Road movies really are one of the archetypal genres in the whole of the cinema. I mean, it's, as well, it's one of the things which have which have crossed continents in terms of genre, which is quite a rare thing. Is that we have you know both American and European examples of the the idea of the road movie. I think I mean for myself, of course, the when I saw Vin Vendors. Kings of the Road. I mean, there's a thing in Vendor's way he will use the idea of the road movie, this linear form, almost without being and without an end, as as something profoundly metaphorical. And I wanted to touch into that in the uh, with the idea that the, the roundabout, for instance, is a thing which has no beginning and no end.
something I was talking about earlier on about the idea of uh, Grissom and documentary. I mean, I thought what was completely fascinating in a film like Night Train, for instance, is that you have what's seemingly objective, realistic, naturalistic scenario, but actually done in a studio. You know, there's the thing with Night Train is that the sets inside the inside the trains themselves they seem to be absolutely authentic and yet it's a cutaway carriage with guys rocking the, the carriage to make it look uh, naturalistic with um, with actors on board you know I find this completely fascinating because it's a completely cinematic version of what uh, of what Grierson is trying to represent you know he uses the forms of cinema and the tools that he has in order to create something that seems realistic you know, and to the audience in fact it is